Jimmy from Germany. Yeah, from GLP, this is the Impression X1. And now GLP released the original Impression oh, some years ago now, and they were pretty popular. And to me, I don't know if it's true, it seems like there's been a bit of a hiatus, but uh, this is out now and it's great to see. Very lightweight. Yeah, uh, very lightweight indeed. Uh, you can pick these up pretty much with, I don't know, one finger if you're pressed. <laughs> RGBW. Yeah, four by 15 watt RGBW sources. So we can run color temperatures from 2700 up to fairly high on the cool end of the spectrum there. Mm -hmm. 14 or 18 DMX channels. Yeah, and that gives us various degrees of resolution. We've got eight or 16 bit options. Um, and look, you know, we've got our little menu system on the side here. The fixture is very compact. It's very easy to handle. It's very easy to rig. It's very easy to power. But for me, those just add to the, the big winning feature on this, yeah, which we've yet talked about. And it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, look, I mean, it's not, it's not super bright. It's seven degree, I think, native beam angle, and you've got the option for a 25 degree lens. But we still haven't talked about the coolest thing, which is we've got continuous pan oh, and yes. continuous tilt. You can have these things running they in, can just they get, can they spin can just, forever. They can go nuts. Yeah, it's look. I mean, to me, it's sort of it. It's almost harking back to the the days of the seventies when we had disco lighting that did do that continuous yeah. rotation thing. Because like we a, like we an didn't Astro index, Raji. Yeah, or Astro Disco. We didn't index things back then because we didn't know how. So mm. we just spun them continuously. And with this, you've got the option to spin continuously, but because it's a current fixture, you can also index. So for me, best of both worlds.